What's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2016 Ford Transit Connect XL long wheelbase. Up front is a 2.5 liter inline four and down below is a six speed automatic transmission. This is a cargo vehicle and so I'm always excited to drive utility vehicles but the Ford Transit Connect is one of my favorite cargo vehicles Ever. And so I'm excited to drive the facelift version, which I haven't done so yet on the channel. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their Transit Connect. You'll hear more about them towards the end, but click the link in the description to check out their inventory. This is one of their many cool cars. I'm excited to be working with them. You could also submit your own vehicle. You can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out, and I come out to you. But let's get back to that 2.5 liter Duratec inline four under the hood. Well, it shares its roots with Mazda. Back when Ford and Mazda were in bed together in the early 2000s, they made some pretty cool things and the Duratec engines, honestly, I've really grown to like them. Now, Mazda now calls them the Sky Active and Ford still calls them the Duratec. It was a messy divorce to say the least, but these engines are naturally aspirated. They make decent power, they make decent torque, and that's all I can ask for in a vehicle like this. Now, like I said, paired to it is a six-speed automatic. It's fine. It's doing the job. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Last but not least, this is front-wheel drive. To my knowledge, there weren't any all-wheel drive transit connects, so front-wheel drive will have to do. How does it feel to drive a Ford Transit Connect? It's lovely, and that's always the biggest drawing point for me. It shares a lot of driving characteristics with the Ford Focus, and that makes sense, but that's wonderful for a cargo vehicle. When you turn the wheel you actually feel things happen you have a sort of agility to the vehicle that other cargo vans don't offer and that's a really really big step up against any of its competitors likewise i would say this is probably going to be the most reliable of the top three i'm thinking of the ram promaster city and the Nissan NV200. The NV200 has transmission problems and the Ram Promaster City just has problems staying a car and working properly. So I would say of these three that I've driven, the Transit Connect seems to be the way to go. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four gauges. Off to the left is my tachometer. In the center is my fuel and coolant temperature. And off to the right is my speedometer. In the center, I do get a little information screen. This is very rudimentary, only one color, but that's okay. And on the steering wheel, we have an asymmetrical steering wheel. So off to the left, we have our selectors for that gauge cluster screen I just mentioned, as well as our cruise control options, leaving nothing off to the right. I feel like they could have offset it with the cruise control off to the right, but that was probably an added on option. So probably not all of them got it. Off to the left, we do have a climate vent and our headlight switches along with gauge dimmer switch. And moving on to the door, we have lock and unlock, power mirrors and power windows. Moving into the center, we get a very small infotainment screen. This will support the radio, CD. That's pretty much it. It's very, very small, very cheap to manufacture. Does also have a backup camera on this tiny screen, which is a very, very nice feature to have in a vehicle like this. Then we have a bunch of radio buttons. We have our different modes for the radio. Along off to the right, we have a number pad, selectors in the center. Ford did this throughout the late 2000s, early 2010s, and I don't really like it. I think it's a little bit too jumbled. I think it's a little too scrambled, and just glancing at it, it's hard to pick out what is what without really spending some time with it. We do have a central locking button and the hazard switch, and then, of course, very rudimentary climate controls. Fan speed off to the left, temperature in the center, where to send it off to the right, as well as our rear defrost and parking sensors, because this actually does have rear windows. Then we have the shifter, pretty much cherry picked out of most other Ford products. Not really anything crazy or interesting with this. And then we do have a 12 volt outlet, some coin holders and some cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test in the Transit Connect from 2016. And unfortunately, yet predictably, it fails. <laughs> 
we do get a cubby, I assume would be great for like a clipboard or something like that. And then we got to talk about the seats. The seats are finished in this sort of vinyl plasticky material. I don't love them. They're not super comfortable, but you'd be hard pressed to find anything like really comfortable in this segment of vehicle. This is a utility vehicle meant to do work. And so comfort was at the bottom of their list when building this. However, I'm not complaining. My back isn't hurting. And when I sat down, my first knee jerk reaction wasn't, oh my God, how, look at how hard these seats are. I didn't actually really think about it. And so that was probably a good thing. However, speaking of seats, we don't have any back seats. So let's talk about the rear cargo space. All right, so let's get into the back of the Ford Transit Connect. But actually, before we do, this is the long wheelbase version. So that's why you see in the title LWB. Shorter wheelbase will be SWB, or they might not list it as that at all. So if you are planning on buying a Transit Connect, just know that there are length differences. You could get a longer one or shorter one, and the one I'm showing here in this video is the longer one. So pull the door open, and this is the back area. So really nice to see some tie downs down here for shelving or you know anything you might be transferring and this does have rear windows however not all of them do so again there's a lot of different configurations of the transit connect so beware of when you're going to check out yours it might not have rear windows or it might have side windows or it might be a mixture of the two besides that no real features back here i do love the fact that it has sliding doors on both sides makes city transit transporting much much easier we can come around the back here apologize for the wind noise something that they advertise is that these actually have let's open this up like this and they stop right here so you don't door ding anything right but they have this big yellow button and you push that in and then it allows for the doors to open up a full 180 degrees. That is really, really nice, and I love that they have these built-in releases here. So, from the back view, again, nothing really crazy or special back here. It is a cargo vehicle, but very cool to show off. And just be sure to close this door first, because this has the latch for this door. Very, very cool. That's the back of the Transit Connect. Now we gotta talk about the looks and I really like this facelifted generation of the Transit Connect as opposed to the earlier one that I filmed. It definitely pulls a lot of styling cues from Ford's other offerings at the time. It looks very consistent with the rest of their lineup, which is impressive because this is basically a Ford of Europe car where other vehicles were Ford of America and Ford of Australia. I'm very impressed that in this era, they were able to keep brand identity so strong across three different continents and so many different vehicles. Hats off to the design team over at Ford in the late 2010s. So here is the pre-facelift. This is a 2013, if memory serves. And this is this car, 2016, 2013. 2016, 2013, you can see the differences. I think it makes a world of change. However, with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving a 2016 Ford Transit Connect, getting back in the seat of a Connect, something that feels long overdue? Well, I love it. I, I honestly think that this is the gold standard for city cargo van. I know that's probably a real niche group of vehicles, but I really genuinely believe that this is the gold standard. I think it drives really well. I think it's going to probably be the most reliable of its competitors. I like the features. I don't mind how it looks. And honestly, I'm surprised that we don't see more of these. If you own a small business, this is perfect. If you need something to run around town, furniture, flower shop, bakery goods. If you want to build a little camper, this is perfect as well. Like I mentioned, this is the long wheelbase version. You could get a shorter one or this longer one. And honestly, you could fit a giant bed in the back. And when you're driving it across the country, you're not going to feel like you're driving a Freightliner. You're not going to feel like you're piloting an apartment on wheels. You're going to be very comfortable with it. And if you have someone in your team or you're married to someone that isn't comfortable driving large vehicles, but you want to take them across country and build a camper, no sweat. They're not gonna be intimidated by this. Maybe the first couple minutes, but after that, 
I mean, this is just a Ford Focus, essentially. With the windows at the back, you don't have huge blind spots. The mirrors are very adequate. I would trust anyone in my Rolodex to drive this van, and I can't say that about all cargo vehicles. And I think that's a huge, huge, huge benefit of the Ford Transit Connect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out this Ford Transit Connect. I have no idea how this video is gonna do. It's very obscure. I don't know of many other car reviewers that love Transit Connects as much as I do. So I hope that you found this video at least semi-interesting. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their Transit Connect and fulfilling my heart and desires of driving yet another. North of Naperville Autos is absolutely wonderful. They always have cool and interesting vehicles in their inventory like this vehicle, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of others on my channel from them. Please go check them out. Their information is found in the description below. If you're in the Chicagoland area, it is a must, and you will not regret it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe liked it. Take care, guys.